everyone zeddy here with a delayed later video because we were expecting some patch notes to go alongside the new patch going into hearthstone today or at least we thought as play hearthstone has just tweeted out we found an issue with uh, patch 26.2.2 that is expected to delay uh, today's patch and patch notes until tomorrow we apologize for the delay i replied to this quite simply the only way i know how with a good old-fashioned zeddy rant but yes tomorrow's video will again be late we're gonna go over the actual patch notes and patch as long as they actually arrive but there's a lot of news i do want to talk about that i wasn't able to talk about because of this so we're gonna do that today but if you want to stay tuned for those patch notes and all of that why not help us hit our sub goal of 69,420 stay tuned for all the news it'd be awfully nice of you guys here here douchebag zeddy coming along and we're doing a big giveaway when we hit that milestone we're less than 300 subs from it so hit that sub button make me go broke but i did want to talk about some pretty big news in the blizzard world as well as hearthstone world there's some free stuff you can get today on multiple sources but there was the big news that came out that is quite possibly a big positive for Blizzard in towards its acquisition by Microsoft. If you're not aware, Microsoft agreed to purchase Blizzard, Activision Blizzard and King, I think it's called ABK, uh, for $68.7 billion. And recently that was vetoed, that was blocked by UK regulators, not allowing this purchase to go through. However, EU regulators have stepped in and just a couple of days ago has approved of the purchase of um of Activision Blizzard by Microsoft which again as somebody who's not really super keen on Blizzard's practices like at all these past few years you know with like the sexual allegations and all the other misconduct and we'll talk about another thing in just a second it's just like can we just let somebody else take the reins of these like amazing ips that are just getting destroyed because of the you know people up top it's not the devs i, I b honestly believe that it's just like oh and uh basically what came to of this uh is the eu found that microsoft would have no incentive to refuse to distribute activision's games to sony this is in kind of in the concerns that the eu commission had that basically um related to cloud gaming with microsoft uh they feel that uh even if microsoft did decide to withdraw activision's games from playstation they're like worried that activision wouldn't be able you know their games wouldn't be offered to Sony, like Call of Duty and all of that. Um, it would not significantly harm competition in the consoles market. Basically, they feel like Sony would be fine without Activision games. I actually don't disagree with that. They have a lot of strong, um, you know, first party games anyways, but regardless, that that's, um, that they feel like it wouldn't hurt it. So, but EU regulators, much like the UK, did find the acquisition could harm competition around the distribution of PC and console games uh, through cloud gaming services. The European Commission has identified remedies to allow the deal to go ahead through 10 year licensing deals that Microsoft has offered to competitors. These include a free license to consumers in EU countries that allow them to stream via any cloud game streaming diverse d uh, services of their choice. All current and future Activision Blizzard PC and console games that they have a license for. And um, cloud providers would also be offered a free license to stream these games in EU markets. I will note though, this doesn't mean that the, the purchase is going through. It's not like the EU uh, circumvents the UK uh, veto. It's been noted that like it's been approved, like this purchase has been approved in a ton of different countries. Uh, I can't remember where it's listed here, but pretty much most of the heavy hitters out there, um, it's been approved by. However, uh, there still are um, basically going to um, appeal this decision by the UK and having another like, you know, the EU um, decision approving their decision will, you know, help them on their appeal, right? It bolsters their argument for all of that. So it, it says Microsoft's appeal in the UK will likely take months before the process is complete. Today's EU's decision may help boost their chances of getting this deal, giant deal over the line but the company still faces battles. And yeah, it's, it's mentioned here, like the US and UK uh, regulars in Saudi Arabia, uh, Brazil, Chile, 
uh, Serbia, Japan, and South Africa have approved the deal. I don't know if it says in the US and UK have, uh, but like South Korea, New Zealand, Australia are still reviewing it. So there's still a ton of hurdles to go through, but I feel like this is a big like victory for them, but it is interesting to see how it play out. I just, I take a look at, you know, the recent Overwatch news, right? Overwatch 2 was launched with the promise of this robust PvE, PvE hero mode, right? That was the whole, basically the whole reason for it. All they've added in uh, Overwatch 2 outside of that is a battle pass, yay. A lot of cosmetics and like a couple of new modes, couple of new heroes, all stuff that could have been done in the base Overwatch game. And the big promise to get people to buy it was the PvE, and now they're just ditching it because, ah, we just can't you know, do it the way we want to do it. It's not worth the resources. It's like a false promise that people bought the game for, and now they're just stuck with the game. It reminds me almost of Hearthstone's tournament mode promise, where they they promised a tournament mode would be coming to Hearthstone. That was back in like 2018, and then they just ditched it because they didn't like how it was playing out, and it was just gone. I don't think it's nearly as bad as this, but it's just, a, you know, a, it's a pattern with Blizzard. It's a pl pattern with Blizzard, Hearthstone Mercenaries, HOTS, all that stuff, like... I just, I really hope that this purchase actually goes through because I just feel like Microsoft being at the helm would be a lot healthier than the Bobby Codex of the world. But I just thought I'd update you guys on that situation. Found it kind of interesting. There's also a first ever uh, Tavern Brawl right now in the game. I wanted to point this out. First ever Nas game, uh, mode where you play any wild deck you want and Nas mode is actively, it's just automatically active. But I wanted to share with the uh, you guys that save your or um, basically your Nazdormu daily quests, it will count for that. Be aware of that. I just want to throw that out there, but it's a cool tavern brawl. We don't see those that often. So I'll plug it, at least get your one game in there, try and get a win, get your standard pack. But the free stuff I was talking about earlier, if you have Amazon Prime, Twitch Prime, whatever, you can currently redeem a standard Epic card, a free Epic card. All you have to do is access your Amazon Prime, link your battle net, you can redeem it. Uh, you might want to wait till the mini set maybe, because there's one Epic that comes with a mini set. Maybe you're not planning on purchasing said mini set, and then maybe you can get that epic. Otherwise, I don't see much point in waiting on that. So that's a free card you can get right now, free, as in you have to be an Amazon Prime uh, user and all that. And then the last free thing in the game right now, I will mention, we'll take a quick look at it, is the event started. The Battlegrounds event started, Mergle Groove Dance Party, where you can earn three free Battlegrounds portraits. They're all Murloc themed. And they're animated and stuff, which is cool. So you can get Maleficent Myrtle Storm, you can get Galakron Proto Murloc, and you can get Hero Skin Volfin. Volfin. So check that out if you're into Battlegrounds at all. Help. You're probably going to complete these if you play regular ladder. I'm already like halfway through them and I haven't really been doing these quests too much. I did get one done at least, but again, free stuff to get in the game. And uh, yeah, sadly the patch is delayed. We'll have the hopefully the actual confirmation of the nerfs and buffs and all of that tomorrow. So again, stay tuned for all that. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.